James, do you want to kick us off, please? Yeah, hi, Tom. Hello. You're uh, finally set to, to make your Lions debut. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, no, really excited. Um, kind of, yeah, trying to build up to this week in, in, a, in an orderly fashion rather than trying to get too excited a bit too quickly. Um, but yeah, no, can't, can't wait to get out there, to be honest. Has it been tough watching from the sidelines, watching other guys get go and, and do well and, and you've had to wait your turn? Uh, I wouldn't say tough's a word. Um, kind of, um, it, it's just built the excitement, really. Um, I think, you know, seeing, you know, the English players and everyone else come out and do well and be able to train, it's just the training side more, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just kind of building that excitement. Um, but yeah, no, the, the opportunity has finally come, so um, can't wait to get out there. And when you first sustained the injury, was your heart in your mouth a little bit? Were you worried? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I got a little bit excited on bench press. Um, but um, I think, yeah, it, it is what it is, and it, it's probably a good thing to kind of put me back in check. Um, but yeah, no, um, it's all good, so we're ready to go. <laughs> Just a little go, is it? Yeah. And are you looking forward to playing alongside Sam Simmons in the back row? It's a dynamic uh, combination that we haven't seen uh, with England, but uh, are you looking forward to playing alongside him? Yeah, and uh, and Navidi or Navici as, we, as he's, he's been called. Um, yeah, I think you know playing with those two is going to be really exciting. I think you know Sam especially in attack, and then you know having having Navidi um, around the breakdown defensively. Um, I think it's a really exciting combination, and um, yeah, one that I've been excited to learn off, um, but also you know excited to kind of throw ourselves at everything. And off the field, there's been another uh, outbreak in the Springboks camp. Uh, there's also reports of an outbreak in the Sharks camp. Has that had an effect on you guys? Is it creating an atmosphere of uncertainty within the camp? Uh, no, I guess this is the beauty of being with the Lions is it's all taken care of and it's, it's out of our control as players, I guess. Um, so that's not for us to worry about. Um, all that we know for certain is that tomorrow's on and we're ready to go. Um, so kind of whatever happens, happens, but we're, we're ready to play, really. If a game were to be called off, it would uh, probably inhibit your chances of proving yourself, wouldn't it, in terms of selection? Would that have a big impact? It's the same for every single player. Um, you know, selection's been going on for four years, I guess, now. Um, so one or two games, yeah, I guess, but it's the same for everyone, to be honest. So um, it's all about taking taking the moment and, and what you're doing in training and, and ultimately tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's a team sport and hopefully, you know, good game tomorrow as a team, get the win and, and whatever happens at the weekend or after that happens. Okay, thanks, Tom. Go well. Tom, given that Sale missed out on a place in the Premiership semi-finals last season because of COVID, you're obviously aware of the issues that go with it. Even though they are your opposition, do you have empathy and sympathy for what the South African and the Bulls squad are actually going through for these couple of days with all this happening? Oh, 100%. I mean, everyone's talking about kind of how big it is for Lions, but for like South African players, what is it, once every 12 years, eight years? I don't don't let don't let me do the maths. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a huge occasion for them. So you know, massive massive understanding for them. Co, it's not people's fault if they catch COVID. To be honest, um, and it is, it is what it is. So yeah, huge understanding for them, um, and hopefully we can get get something out of it. Is that the important thing to remember? Is games are going to be called off, and it is just part of it. I guess the knock on is that the. In a, the same in the Premiership, you need to get points, but of course in this one you lose a chance to impress the selectors. It's actually a bigger knock on for, for the players this time round, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. But as I said, it's kind of whatever opportunities you do have, you you, you have to take, and everyone gets the same amount. It's not like people are getting more or less. Um, so so yeah, um, it is what it is, really. You've been sitting watching on the sidelines. I don't know many top-level sportsmen who enjoy that. What kind of watcher of a game are you? 
Uh, probably a little bit enthusiastic. Uh, I, I still don't really know. I've not really done it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, kind of, yeah, it, it makes you more excited, to be honest. I don't think it makes it frustrating or tough. It's just kind of the next training session, you probably have to calm yourself down because you're a bit eager um, to get going. So, um, yeah, no, it's been exciting watching watching the players and watching everyone go, to be honest. Warren had said many times that everyone would get a start in the first three games, injury dependent, of course. So you knew you were going to get a chance. But is there still a feeling in the, your mind that you're playing catch-up, watching the other guys wearing the shirts already? Uh, not really, mate. I'm just going out there to, 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 to play rugby. Um, kind of selection, whatever, that, that, that's, your, that's for you guys to speak about. For me, it's kind of doing what I love and, and playing for a team that I've dreamt about. Um, so, yeah, I, I honestly, I can't wait to get stuck in tomorrow. And whatever happens, happens, whether it's a good game, bad game... I, I'm I'm just there and I, I love it. Thanks, Tom. Hi, Tom. It's Chris Foley. Um, I, I I just wondered first of all, what's this Navici business? Because <laughs> he's a part-time DJ. It's like Navidi Avici. <laughs> Navici. Right, okay. Um. So yeah, no, he's yeah. Uh, it's, Tyg and I, we're coming along nicely, um, Navidi, Navici's our mentor, so um, Tyg and I, uh, we're trying to learn as, as much as possible from him. And uh, it, there would have been a perception before the tour that back row places were going to be very strongly contested, but it's sort of really panned out that way, isn't it? Tyg Burns gone well at six, Courtney went well at six, Amy Schwartz gone well at seven, it, does it just sort of keep ramping up that, that feeling that it's a really sort of cutthroat area in the side. Um, I don't know, everyone's kind of mentioning selection as if it's a negative thing for the players. Um, but it's not like, it's brilliant to see, you know, Ty go well, it's brilliant to see Courts and, and Hamish at the weekend because it shows we, we're kind of doing something right as a group. Um, so yeah, you know, every, everyone who's played has, has played well and I think that's the, uh, the brilliant thing about this side at the minute. Um, is the competition. Um, so yeah, no, can't wait to get to get my opportunity and to get stuck in and love it. Um, especially with, you know, Simo and, and Navidi, I think they're both unbelievable players. So it should be really exciting. Sorry? Yeah, no but, Well exactly, but one game at a time. One game at a time. Tom, Alex Dick from Mirror Afternoon. Uh, can I ask you about um, the size of this challenge that you've got with these lives to three weeks to prepare for the World Champions? So much uncertainty with COVID swirling around. Is this as tough a test as, it, as you've ever faced in your career? Yeah, I mean, I guess playing in, in the Lions is, is the ultimate test, um, especially kind of with COVID restrictions, but I guess kind of. That's the beauty of having, you know, Six Nations, Autumn Nations, where we've been in bubbles before and there's been relative uncertainty about games. Um, so it kind of almost feels like the, the norm now, I guess. Um, but I guess that's the beauty of games coming thick and fast is, is, is you've got to quickly focus your attention onto the next thing and, and that could be four, four days in advance. So, um, yeah, it's always, always about the next game and, and what we can do next. Is the key to this to, to just to always expect the unexpected, always be prepared for what you're perhaps not prepared for? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you just got to prepare normally. Um, as, as we've said, it's kind of you, you get your body ready, get yourself ready to play, and if the game's there, brilliant, you're ready to go. If it's not, right, crack on to the next one. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Tom, just a quick one from you up in Scotland here. Uh, flipping that selection uh, question on its head then, um, you're out there with guys like Hamish Watson and so on. Is it, is it more of a supportive environment there where you're relying on everyone to help you train well? Everyone needs to kind of really pull together off the field uh, so you get the best team on it? Yeah, definitely. I think that, that's kind of how, how it's been approached really, um, especially as a back row group, lots of questions being asked, you know, if if there's been rotations, kind of getting lads up to speed, you know, I, I think um, Hamish and everyone was brilliant for me coming in uh, when I first came into Jersey. 
Um, so yeah, it's all about lads getting everyone up to speed and, and how we can get the best team out there possible. I think that that's the main goal is to win the series, isn't it? Um, so whatever team is, is the best, they can go do that. Obviously, once the warm-up games are complete, you won't be tying uh, Amish's shoelaces together under the table at breakfast, yeah? <laughs> no problem. Uh, cheers, Tom. Hey, Tom, how's it going? You are, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Dude, um, this, I was just wondering, I was just looking back on, um, on yourself, and I saw like your first four tests were against South Africa, well, four of the first five tests against South Africa, and I was looking at that Cape Town win that you guys had, um, and eight of the guys that were involved in that are now on that Lions tour as well. Just wondered how, as you as a player, what did it mean to you to be on that tour and, and that kind of, uh, you know, to take on the Springboks back then those few years ago? Oh, it was, it was a massive experience and one I still kind of hold pretty tightly now. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was my second, third and fourth test, and I think it took a lot of learning from that, especially... Uh, not just off the field, kind of the cultural side of it, but I guess the cultural side on the pitch and, and what it's like to play in South Africa uh, and and probably especially Ellis Park at altitude first game, um, I think is a hugely special moment that I, I hold pretty dear. Um, so yeah, kind of a lot of experience um, taken taken from that. It's a bit weird not having the fans, I guess, um, but in terms of the rugby side, I think moving moving forward is that ultimately the, the, the contact area Will, will be a hugely contest, contested area and one that probably needs to be won. I saw one of the, the things you had in one of the, the line series following you guys that you were saying that Fat de Klerk was uh, slagging you, saying you're not going to get a win and <laughs> what that victory was like. I was wondering, are you still in touch with him and any other guys or do you cut off all communications once, once you get over into the squad? Uh, no, I, I spoke a bit to Jean-Luc Dupree, um, just seeing how it is, mostly talking about the altitude, to be honest. Uh, I don't think he's a fan either. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's um, we'll we'll see once once it gets to the the end the end. Cheers, Tom. Tom, it's uh, Chris Boyd again. Just wondered how pleased you were um, for Ben, and just you know what a sort of big week it is overall for the family, really, with with what he's doing and what you're doing. Yeah, no, really, really excited. I mean, probably saves my parents a lot of travelling. Um, so I think they're a bit happy with that. But yeah, no. Um, pretty gutted I couldn't be there to, to see it and, and to kind of congratulate him and stuff like that but watching it on the TV and, and I, th I think he went pretty well so um, yeah no, really exciting and um, hopefully be able to push on for more things really Now you do, do you stay in regular contact as, as brother do you in touch most days or just a bit of messaging or whatever uh, probably not too much to be honest uh, just kind of good luck how's camp sort of thing um, so yeah, no, I know he's enjoying it, and 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 that's what matters really. Thanks everyone. Thanks, Cheers, Tom. Cheers, Tom. Thank you.